Hello, just doing a quick review here on uh, Dean Razorback uh, Lightning. I picked up this guitar just north of San Francisco in a guitar center. We were kind of looking for one, and then this one was there used. Um, it was on sale for two seventy nine US, so that's about five thousand dollars Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought it anyway, and it's a lot rougher than this. I had videos showing uh, how we fixed it up and how we changed out the pickups and stuff. So. Uh, starting the headstock here, it's got the nice Dean uh, Razorback dime with lightning uh, kind of uh, laid in behind the clear coat and stuff, and then the wood on the side, and then a nice volute here, so the neck joint's very strong. Uh, Grover tuners, they aren't that important on this one because it has the locking nut, so once you get the strings to basic tune, um, the nut locks, and that's about it, but <clears throat> they still look great. Awesome headstock. There's a scarf joint in the neck right there, but you're going to need that with a headstock that large. You can't cut that out of a single piece of wood, you know, it'd be very difficult to. A single piece neck, just one piece of wood, but it uh, feels very good. Uh, it's not super wide, it's not a wizard, but it's definitely not a Les Paul or a Strat either. It's a wider, faster neck with uh, large jumbo frets and uh, great inlays. I love the inlays in this one, they're kind of a V pearl. And of course at 12 you have your dime razor uh, inlay, which is awesome. So we decided to uh, put a Seymour Duncan Jazz in the neck. I think Dave Mustaine uses that and a few other people, so, and it sounds great in the neck. Of course at the bridge we want the Seymour Duncan Dime Bucker, so one of the more expensive pickups that we have in the round, so we put it in the, the bridge. There's the body. A couple points kind of, you have to kind of be careful with the guitar because the points are kind of sharp, but that's fine. Oh, and um, the trim's a Floyd Rose Special, so kind of the mass produced version of the Floyd Rose, but it works great for pulling up. See, it's counter cut in the back here, so there's clearance to pull the trim up. And also, of course, dive bomb all you want, so to totally slap the strings like right off. And then got your uh, textured uh, volume, volume, and tone. Now uh, the tone, I think I might put a smaller capacitor in there. It's just to brighten up the guitar a little bit, but it is pretty good. It works fine, no problem. And on the back, a couple access covers for your pots, and one for your switches. And of course your spring, so since it's Floyd Rose, if you want to drop tune, you have to tension up your springs and then a, and stuff like that. So. Uh, it's kind of a uh, limiting that way you can't drop tune it, but and also you can't put a detune on this one because it goes, it pulls up as well as down. So uh, no detune for this one, but that's fine. Just play it in standard tuning and or set up for drop D if you want. Okay, that's about it for this review. Uh, hope you uh, enjoy one if you get one. It looks horrendous and wild, but. Uh, it's actually quite comfortable to play and it sounds great, uh, plays very well, so it's a true guitar, plus it looks uh, pretty uh, like a huge monster out there on stage. Okay, have a great day, bye bye.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>